The 10% cost of living allowance COLA was granted by government across board for all public sector workers sometime last year. The COLA, according to the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, Harry Nidrisu, has already expired. He has, however, been integrated into the 13% increment in the base pay on the single spine salary structure which was announced last week. There would be no COLA for 2015. Uh, Labour supported government with that sacrifice and magnanimity to which we are grateful. But we have agreed with organised labour that compensation for the period January 2015 will include COLA. All salaries and related areas associated with the increases in the minimum wage and the base pay will be paid to workers come the end of February 2015. A section of public sector workers are unhappy with this move by government as they claim the 13% increment is woefully inadequate. So far as veterinary doctors and all public servants are concerned, the 3% is uh, woefully inadequate. Because if you look at the present uh, economic situation we find ourselves, uh, utility tariffs are high, uh, water, electricity, Prices of food items are also rising. It is, I believe that the thing should have, could have been increased a little, up to about 5%. I would say 40% would be good, but how far maybe um, they will accept it is going to be the problem. Maybe they won't accept because um, the, it depends on the TUC to fight for all workers. And also, even it will help those in the private sector. Yeah, so if any increments comes, it also generate uh, everything for people. So In actual fact, most Ghanaians were not expecting that 13%. With the normal base, uh, the, uh, the wage that they give in every year, like we expect that we'll have something more. Every civil servant or every worker expects more from the government. In a reaction to that, the Minister for Employment and Labor Relations, Harry Nadrusi, says that is what government can offer within its budget, thus they should bear with them. Within the limits of the budget, this is what government could offer. And we appreciate the fact that uh, Labour uh, understands that when we have a better and improved performing economy, we can share the benefits of that better performing the economy. Uh, we may not be able to meet the demands, uh, legitimate needs of uh, Labour, but I think that to have been taking an allowance and now be taking something which is integrated into a base pay, it gives you a better gratitude. Meanwhile, spokesperson for the Polytechnic Teachers Association of Ghana, David Wawi, disclosed that the 13% increment in the base pay was accepted based on certain conditions and urged government to adhere to those conditions. This 13% was based on some conditions, and the conditions were that we uh, were not going to allow any retrenchment by government. We are accepting the 13% on conditions that no retrenchment this year whatsoever by government. We also say that uh, it will also be at the backdrop of where we will negotiate our categories two and three allowances. We also say that that must be done by the end of um, uh, May, and by June this year, uh, payment implementation must begin. Some public sector workers are also of the view that government needs to be acknowledged for the increment considering the current economic challenges confronting the country.